Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekend reading for Friday, January 26th through Sunday the 28th. Um, I'm recording this on the night of the Leo full moon, which I think was full in the middle of the day today actually, but that seems relevant. Um, if you want to enter to win a free reading, please do so by entering free reading in the comments. Um, I'll announce the winner on 222. And otherwise, let's get started. So, with the full moon energies coming in, um, I feel the guardian of the night, tarot, is a good place to start. Um, the moon's bright outside, and the energy of full moons can be a little bit, like, werewolfy, right? <laughs> Loon being the root of the word lunacy, people can go wolf, um... Ooh, during the full moon and then first thing right out the gate is the hierophant so scorpio you have the key to um especially like your craft uh, what's standing out to me is like this is a bakery that these mouse m mice are in and baking is not the same at all as cooking or as like making desserts right like baking is its own science um and it starts with like yeast and water and flour and yeast is a living thing and so i love that this is the hierophant card in this deck um because it's like the key to making i don't know uh, breaking bread is it's also the key of like life in a way i don't know why that's standing out but I, I love it um also like a microculture you might be um like yeast i think is something living and tiny it's it's standing out to me as like a microculture so you might be starting some sort of like culture um or joining like a small like microculture in your community with all of these mice here i really like that um also the number five is indicative of big changes so you may have discovered the key to some big changes today or this week four of pentacles reverse came out um in another reading i did for you today in a different deck um so the four of pentacles reversed for the last reading and i think for this one as well is kind of realizing that you have something to give um, even if you don't have a lot of like resources, there's something maybe within you that you have to give. This card is really pretty. There's a rabbit under the moon and then like under the... This is kind of scary too, actually. Under the thorns, this fox is like in the rabbit's den. Um, like trying to eat its babies. So... <laughs> That's kind of scary. Um, I'm actually gonna read this card because I don't. I've never seen this card on in this deck before. Cleverness, spry, magical, shape shifting, for the fox. <laughs> if you if you saw the fox first or identify with the fox first, the rabbit is abundance, reproduction, open creativity, and luck. Um, I'm also told it is indicative of powerful psychic ability um and then i'm being drawn to tell you as well about a set of tapestries called um the lady and the unicorn there's one called the hunt of the unicorn and there's one called the lady of the unicorn and the lady of the unicorn is the one i'm speaking about and it's about um a woman in the five senses but on each of these tapestries there's rabbits and like i think 
based on the order that the tapestries are in, the number of rabbits increases. Um, also, with the rabbit under the moon here, the standard on the lady in the unicorn tapestries is that of a French family with a crescent moon standard. So there's like crescent moons all over their um, like medieval family um, like tents and coat of arms. Huh, interesting. Okay. When it came time to create an image for the Four of Pentacles, I thought about the nimble fox losing its agility because it is consumed by the fear of failing to keep the quick moving rabbits it caught earlier in the evening. In trying to restrict the rabbits, it also restricts itself. When the Four of Pentacles appears, you may need to examine how to control or how control or your need for it impacts a situation. Are you or someone else holding on to something so tightly that there is no room for growth? An example of this may be someone who cannot let go of some tasks at work, who is unwilling to relinquish control to a coworker or hire help. This may in the end cause stagnation or less productivity. The question you may want to ask yourself is, are you ha saving or investing? One grows, the other stays the same. The rabbit brings abundance, so call on this energy, but don't restrict it. Let it run free. Release the fox to do what it does best. Be nimble and clever. When you use the fox and the rabbit in harmony, you will have the skills needed to bring about a positive shift and with it a bountiful harvest. So I think what's standing out to me about this card as well and the idea of that lady in the unicorn tapestry is that... Um, you may not have thought you had something to give, but what you have to give is um, f coming from your five senses and maybe even your sixth sense because the sixth tapestry, um, it's called my soul desire or my heart's desire. It's the desire of your soul, which is, in, it's like reminding me here of the Hierophant, the key of life, right? The desire of your soul. You combine the five um elements of your senses and then utilize them for manifestation or creativity or um, giving um, through your heart's desire. Maybe your heart's desire has come to be like to give. Oh, my ears ringing as I say that. Like high pitch, strong high pitch ringing. Yeah, that's that's strong confirmation. Page of Cups reversed. The moon is here too. Also reverse. This is a capybara. Capybaras are semi-aquatic and um, super friendly, super social, um, with multiple different kinds of species as well. Like not just their own species. Um, there's like capybara cafes in Japan. <laughs> I love Japan. <laughs> they have the coolest stuff. Um, friendly, compassionate, and kind. Let's see, if there's one word that ties together the energy of the Page of Cups and the Capybara, it is loving. Oh my gosh. The power you hold in your hands when you draw mind soul, mind soul desire, the, my heart's desire. The power you hold in your hands when you draw the Page of Cups card is one that will help you find the good in others. It will help you mend broken relationships and form romantic bonds. If you are dealing with a difficult situation or someone who is, let's say, challenging <laughs> to be polite... When the Page of Cups appears, you are best served by taking a softer, more gentle approach. Tap into your intuition, get a feel for the energy you are dealing with, and work to ease friction instead of irritating it. When you encounter the Page of Cups, expect inspiration to come from unexpected places as it relates to our biases and open our hearts. opens our hearts. That person you discounted yesterday may turn around to be a valuable source of information that will help overcome an obstacle. Before I begin the illustration for the Page of Cups, I researched friendly animals and the capybara topped the list as the friendliest creature on the planet. They are also the largest rodent in the world and can weigh up to 150 pounds. These semi-aquatic social creatures possess a calmness that comes from being comfortable wherever they go. The world is their playground. Other animals in the area, perhaps, taking advantage of the good-natured capybara, will hop on its back for a free ride across rivers and streams. Because the capybara lives along the shoreline, dividing their time between the river and land, they pull together the elements of water and earth to create an animal that is emotionally sensitive to others' needs, 
while at the same time grounded and confident in its position. If you feel out of balance or disconnected from your soul center, call on the capybara as this loving energy will be your guide and help you find your way across flooded emotions. So, um, because these came out in reverse, I feel like in this process of like learning how to give, um, and possibly you're able to give just from a place of like perspective because the rabbit here is on top, right? Of maybe looking for the um, pentacles that the fox has stolen, but the rabbits here are still alive and like potentially getting away and the fox is restricted. So it's like you're finding balance with your boundaries as you're learning to give. The capybara, right? It gets a free ride sometimes. And there's red. Both of these red birds are in this card. In both of these cards as well. That's really interesting. So, um, moons. And there's been so much mirroring going on. Like, I can't even tell you. Um, that was in your last reading. But, sorry. What I was getting at was... You may need to um, work on setting your boundaries so that people don't take advantage of your either abundance or kindness or your perspective as well. Like if you've been sort of offering perspective to people who are listening, um... Huh. You, I, I'm hearing like you might be speaking different languages than than whoever you're talking to. Like it, it's going to be received differently by each person, right? And strangely, there might be like the birds are standing out as the messengers, and then the hierophant is the person who like. He's standing here proselytizing. He's talking about the law of this bakery to these like other mice or rats. The, it's a rat rather. Um, so that they don't get hurt when they go in the bakery, right? Like this is what you take. This is what you don't. Um, he's sort of the gatekeeper. So you may also be sort of like a gatekeeper for some messages. And I'm also seeing like the... Um, the briar here as like a symbol of a gate, right? But you might be um, finding that these messages could be being offered to those willing to take advantage um, as well. So what can we do about this spirit? How do we... Um, I don't know. I don't really feel like it's up to you to do anything about what people do with your messages justice reversed with the hierophant divine justice will be served um hmm. that's really interesting it's interesting to see justice reversed underneath the hierophant because the hierophant indicates like divine law in the realm of man or in the physical. And justice represents man's law. Also the scales of justice used to be. Um, the claws of Scorpio. Astrologically like the stars. Um, in the constellation. They're still. They still have the root name from the Middle Eastern. Country. I can't remember the country. I think it's. Maybe it's, maybe Palestine? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, that's something to look into. But the, the root name of the star names um, are North, North Claw and South Claw um, in the constellation Libra. Because it used to be part of Scorpio. So what's standing out to me here in saying that is that I've also, I've also heard that Libra is pronounced Libra and the root is like books. Um, and I could totally be wrong. There's only one source I've ever found that said that. It seemed credible, but 
look into it if you are interested and let me know what you think about that. What's standing out to me is that it's the written law of the land currently as opposed to the divine law as it operates through the realm of humanity um, are different practices. And one is unjust, and I suppose you can guess which. The moon. This is appropriate as today is the full moon in Leo. The coyote is super adaptable. This one is digging in a trash can in a city. I remember hearing about Chicago's coyotes once and thinking, like, the population of coyotes in Chicago is quite high, um, or at least it was when I was listening to this podcast. But I see all these windows on the coyote card as um, different opportunities for ego experiences. And this card really stands out to me because I used to have nightmares of waves of coyotes crashing over my balcony from the meadow where we lived when I was a kid. And I used to imagine coyotes coming in through my window. And for a long time, coyotes, um, I, I considered them my like totem or my spirit animal because I would see them everywhere and... Um, in the book that I had, the Animal Totems book, there they talk. It talks about coyotes being the trickster and um, representative of the magician, but also of ego transformation or a mask, like multiple faces of the ego. So this coyote looking in this trash can, it tells me nothing's wasted, for one, and also. There's something about when you sleep, I think, um, or even when you close your eyes, where, like, your sixth chakra might be waking up and you might be realizing, like, there's more going on um, when you close your eyes than you previously imagined. A lyric is standing out to me from Mac Miller. Um... What's the song? Uh, Self-care. He says something about closing his eyes and... Nah, 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 with my eyes... I can't remember. Something about going home with his eyes closed. But you might look into that song. He also talks about breaking generational curses um, in that song. I feel it in my... In my family tree, yeah. It's been a long time since I've heard that song. Drove me crazy, I was speeding. And you're just like looking into symbols. So you might be experiencing like interdimensional awareness um, when you close your eyes. And this might be part of your perception, that sixth sense we were talking about. Mon's soul desire might the desire of your heart is like what leads you through these um, spaces, these like liminal spaces. Huh, okay, wow, that took a turn. I didn't expect it to, but we started with the Hierophant. The star reversed. The star or the deer indicates um, connection with the divine, an open crown chakra. Your wish fulfillment um, may have been to join with a community. Um, um, again, I'm hearing like the like a microclimate here. You may be finding that the number of people around you engaged in this kind of activity are like fewer than you thought um or at least that's your perception right now oh that's interesting i think you might find that like the more you talk about or the more you engage in your 
subconscious understanding of your sort of esoteric wisdom, the more you'll see there's people around you um, who have that wisdom as well. Um, the more you'll see people connected. The mirroring's been coming up a lot. So if you're in a place in your life where you're super like isolated, I mean, that's totally fine, right? You can go through life isolated. But if you're, um, if you've been putting on all these different ego identities, it's like what you've been giving people is the trickster. This is your sense of control, and it's been restricting you. So you're, hmm. But I think you feel like you've had to do this because of the injustices. Um, bef like, you know, if you, like, there, there's witch burnings were like a big deal <laughs> for a long time, and like until I say this, somewhat frequently frequently I suppose but until 1970 a woman could be um institutionalized in a mental hospital against her will for being like too promiscuous and the last lobotomy took pa place in 1971 so she could have been lobotomized and that's literally 50 years ago not that long ago it seems like maybe a long time when you say 50 years but there's many of us I think in this community even who are um 50 or older so within our lifetimes right a person could have been persecuted just for having a certain belief system so this is perhaps the first time in history for quite some time that a person with your beliefs or capabilities even um, especially psychic cap capabilities with the moon here and the hierophant Um, could unmask. Hmm. It's definitely some trickster energy in the middle here. Do you see how this fox and this, um, this fox and this coyote are like mirroring each other on the on top of the moon card on the full moon? I, this is tripping me out. And then we have the star. So what does this star spirit clarify? The five of wands. Okay. This indicates to me immediately the work. It's a winter card. So I think during this season right now, um, or maybe in the last month or so, five of wands, the beaver, construction, mm -hmm, boundaries, determination, creativity, and having fortitude. <sighs> yeah, so... It's like you're keeping your boundaries in order to suss out who's sus is what I'm hearing. <laughs> suss out and also to suss out who um, is connected. And I think you'll find like the more you connect, um, the more you like hook up, the more you connect with the divine, whatever that means to you. Um, the more you'll see the divine light in others and like I think what's standing out also is that you may find that you're sort of holding your own bubble right and that other people like you hold their own bubbles too and so like making connections with other people requires this like work it's construction it's a construction of boundaries it's a conscious construction of boundaries and it requires determination and fortitude as well as like creativity there's something like new in the way you approach maintaining your boundaries or um even constructing them i would like to clarify this reading I, this is a really interesting reading i haven't done a um I usually just pull these for like oracle cards. I haven't done like a spread with these cards before and I'm intrigued. 
Um, if you're enjoying this reading and it resonates with you, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And then you can check out in the description box below if you want to book a personal with me. Um, let's see here. In the past, what is justice reversed? The star. Somebody may have taken something from you. The Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay. Something may have, somebody may have taken something from you. Um, or you encountered a gift. Um, yeah, some sort of divine gift because of an injustice that was done to you. Also, with the star on both sides here, um, there's Aquarius energy. This is Cancer Pisces energy to me, and then Libra is standing out, so you could be dealing with any of those, as well as Taurus with the Hierophant. Wheel of Fortune. That is so interesting. So you have Wheel of Fortune and the star with Justice Reverse and the Hierophant. Um, on a grounded level, you could have been married to someone or dealing with a marriage where an injustice occurred. Um, what's the Knight of Cups? Four of Pentacles. Okay, this is... You're seeing this mirroring, right? Like star, the star, the four of pentacles, the four of pentacles. Um, and then the ace of pentacles has come out in your reading like a lot in the last week. And I've said a couple times in these readings, like you're the star, you're the pentacle. Um, and like just the way that this reading is even becoming laid out like a, like a little pentacle. There's something here about like... The four corners and then the fifth element, right? Um, the hierophant, the spiritual element, the microclimate. Um, what is that? I want to see what that is. The sun. It's so vague. It's like, it's bright and clear as day. But I think that communicating it is like a different thing. What is this? Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Huh. This is so... Okay. So I think s you went through... You went through something where, like... Someone did something unjust towards you. Or, like... Breadcrumbed you. Or... gave you a like a love offer like with the knight of cups here that was not a love offer or was like designed to control you with the four of pentacles reverse right this is about control and restriction but it ended up restricting them instead yeah two of wands reversed are you seeing this right now this reading is crazy to me at the moment um it's kind of blowing my mind and it ended up like jettisoning you into your destiny and enlightening you to betrayal also I think this is also standing out to me as like what happens when you close your eyes there's something here about interdimensional awareness um, with all of these windows. I can't get past it. And water. You are a water sign. And this page of cups. A capabra is semi-aquatic. Something standing out about water. And a beaver as well. These are rodents. There's a lot of rodents in this reading. And then you've got the foxes. And the, the fox and the coyote. Hmm. The hanged man. 
an epiphany. All I can say is this betrayal has led to an epiphany. This moon energy could be the full moon energy of today. This is for your weekend reading, though. So this is you going forward. Um, yeah, a cycle not closing out, a betrayal. The hangman can also indicate being stuck. But again, this was supposed to be what this person was doing. Um, this Knight of Cups reversed Four of Pentacles person. What is the betrayal here? The Empress? Um, the betrayal? That's a weird thing for me to say. I don't know about that one spirit. That's a weird one. The betrayal could have been a pregnancy. I don't ever think from my own perspective that like that a child could be a bad thing right a child's a blessing but this person may have thought that and could have like gotten pregnant or gotten you pregnant to keep you stuck to breadcrumb you to control you but you're in the sun energy, so if you did have a child by this person, then they make you, the child is, is happiness for you. It opened your heart chakra, this event. And it may have kept you stuck for a while, but it also gave you an epiphany about what stability is with the pentacles here the four oh that's what's standing out also this is the four of pentacles this is the four of pentacles and they're missing that fifth element right the key of life that microclimate um, a microclimate can also be a family right so this could have like opened your heart to the value of family Five of Swords. Um, whatever happened here, it's like you have come out victorious. You have the Five and the Ten of Swords here. The Two of Wands reversed. The Hangman and the World reversed. So if you didn't close out a cycle of betrayal, like say you, you are pregnant or you do have a child with this person who's been trying to control you but you haven't closed that cycle out yet this ten of swords whatever betrayal you went through or ego death you went through it's made you victorious this five to me is clarifying this hierophant um as well the number five like big changes big changes in the way that you think is your victory here um and in the way you communicate what's the star reverse Ooh, heartbreak okay what's the page of cups reverse disillusion or illusions and the moon reverse Okay, this is weird. The moon upright for you. The moon reversed here for the star for you. But you have the star back there. <sighs> Clarify the star. Wow, okay. You have three and three here. You have five, five, five. These might be um, clarifying your messages coming through here or like symbols for you. They might be symbols or synchronicities for you. Um, you also have the moon twice and the star twice. 
the chances of that happening in a reading are just like in the four of pentacles twice like what is going on that's crazy okay so the five of cups is scorpio energy and it came out in your reading yesterday um as basically you learning to accept what's difficult through um non-resistance so allowing it to pass through you instead of hanging on to it um one thing that comes to mind is like 35 35 on the timer three and five three and five no way <laughs> this reading's crazy okay um <laughs> what um sorry so one thing that comes to mind is um the body will hang on to the nutrients that it doesn't get enough of. So like if you, this isn't for everybody and I'm not a medical professional, so there's that um, disclaimer there. But if you like don't eat any fat and you're trying to get rid of fat, then your body's gonna hang on to fat because it's not getting any. So it's gonna like do everything it can to cling to that. Whereas like if you just eat your fats, your healthy fats, right? Um, then your body learns how to process them and it's not like hanging on to what it doesn't have, which is part of this reading with the Four of Pentacles, right? And also the Six of Pentacles. So this could have been you as well. Like this is part of your energy and you were mirrored. Whoever you were dealing with was mirroring this to you, which is why you learned this lesson from them. Um, your Five of Cups is you hanging on to stuff it's your body clinging to what it's not getting enough of also. So like, but it's like your emotional body hanging on to that. So like when you're looking back at your spilled cups, it's not getting enough of the nutrients that, that are like out of those spilled cups. And those emotional nutrients could be like literally just sadness or like nostalgia or heartbreak or um, illusions and you might actually even be able to find ways to like like read a, a book that has a heartbreaking message or like I don't know you watch movies watching movies stands out as illusions to me here or like do vision boards or something of like different dreams to kind of find out different ways to like envision your future this might just be your soul like in this non-resistance mode calling for something of that energy to to nourish it in your emotional body and when you don't nourish it like through like, if you don't nourish the energy of heartbreak, for instance, through, um, like, witnessing it or listening to people's stories, then, then by avoiding it, essentially, you summon that lesson into your life. This is so interesting. And then if you, like, have too much clarity or too much happiness or you meet your destiny or you become the empress or, um... You exp this is interesting you um you rob yourself of all the other experiences all the mirrored experiences of those things and what's more you like you find yourself so like sort of mixed up in the energies of sorry I'm like really listening to my guards right now because this is Um, a strange message um it's like you become so attached to these archetypal energies that they sort of lose their purpose and they become the fixtures of these ego masks instead of emotions that pass through you in order for you to learn from them and then continue on in the flow 
kind of like this beaver does, right? The beaver builds his dam in the winter and floods the landscape by building his dam, which is his home. And then sometimes the dam will break or the home will be removed somehow. Um, and the beaver will have to like rebuild it. Um, once the dam breaks and by doing this by building his dam the beaver floods the whole floodplain again and restructures the entire the entire landscape around him like for miles like hundreds of square miles even backing up the river and flooding the plain for this lake creates this microclimate there's something about you Scorpio learning to set your boundaries that creates this microclimate for other people specifically around injustice and this betrayal you've experienced and this is also you realizing like you don't have to summon these these experiences into your life to um, to have firsthand, but that there is certainly a need for that emotional balance within you to know both sides of the coin, so to speak, with the Four of Pentacles and this mirroring here. So ways, again, to expose yourself in these emotions, like... without um without exposing yourself to trauma or without traumatizing yourself this could be something like somatic archaeology or emotional body healing techniques somatic archaeology right you can like bring stuff up um from doing like somatic workshops like like just moving your body or like um there's like a yoga training at the yoga school that ha it's a somatic archaeology training it's like yoga for for moving stuff out of your emotional body you might be learning how to do that and as you learn how to set these boundaries it creates this landscape for other people why the star reverse though four of swords you may need to rest yeah I think you may want to be, you may be the kind of person who wants to take action um, or like communicate something or like, I don't know, you might feel like you have all these options of things you can do or be or say and then just kind of feel like nothing's changing. But there's five, five, five here, five, 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 five here. This one just jumped out. The Queen of Pentacles reverse um, materialism. You might be feeling a little bit weighed down by materialism, by materialism, um, or by like a lack mentality. Also, there's something here about like not finding your community. Ten of Wands. It makes you feel burdened. Ten ten. But one of the things about the Ten of Wands is like it's somebody who picks up. We've got the Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Somebody who picks up their staves after the battle and, like, moves them um, to either, like, in the Nine of Wands, right? You have the Wounded Warrior. Either to hold their boundaries elsewhere, like the beaver would, and to, to thusly, like, change the shape of the landscape, or to um, build a wall for his people This is something you went through, Scorpio. I don't know who I'm talking to, but something you went through about ego identities, masking, unmasking, essentially learning to unmask, and recovery, like that you've recovered from, has enlightened you to how to set boundaries for yourself um, through your five senses, your six senses even, 
maybe even in your sixth sense, setting boundaries there in this interdimensional place that has that has given you the tools to help other people in your community build these boundaries and build these walls also. I think you may be wondering how to do that, but the beaver doesn't wonder how to build its dam. It just does, right? It just does it. The emperor reversed. Yeah, you might be trying to like control how that happens. And I think that spirit might have the answers for you in signs and symbols and synchronicities. Um, if you can open yourself to being receptive. And I think being receptive might be just a little bit. I see the Ten of Swords here, like of a betrayal, or make it might make you feel stuck with the hanged man. But I think being receptive and staying in a childlike state um, of like wonder about the world will maybe help you move forward. Why the Three of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles reversed? The High Priestess. You may feel alienated, yeah, because this is kind of coming back to where we started. So I'm feeling like the reading is going to be closing out soon, I think. We'll see. Um, you may be feeling alienated because you are super intuitive and psychic and you have the Hierophant and the High Priestess here. So you operate in both worlds. And you divine, um, spiritual law for both men and women. And for, for both the internal and the community. And it looks like you just haven't really found out how to... integrate into the community this stuff about the moon whatever the moon is for you is this like I think it has to do with this there's a space and place for all emotional things like that that passing through of what what you resist persists, something like that. But it's specific to whatever your experience has been regarding heartbreak and illusions. What is the experience with the heartbreak and the illusions? Oh, wow. The king and queen of cups reversed. What are the chances of that? The king and queen of cups reversed could be a divine couple. Um, it could be you. having experienced sort of your um, internal divine masculine and feminine like shadow aspects. Like say you've accomplished the process of individuation for yourself, right? But you had to sort of go into what you feared the most. This could be you teaching people how to like move through heartbreak and disillusionment as they also... Um, experience the path their path pathways to individuation which is a process of navigating the subconscious so it would make sense that there's a lot of moon energy here as well as the hierophant and the high priestess they they set the boundaries for psychic landscapes and unconscious landscapes Yeah, that's interesting. What's the Queen of Pentacles reversed with the Three of Cups reversed? The Ace of Swords. Man. The truth might be that, like, the people surrounding you or the people that you've tried to communicate with or like bond with in the past and in the future, they're too materialistic or too um, 
shallow from your perspective. And I don't think that casting that judgment on people is like necessary, right? Because we're all sort of in our own lane. Um, or, or can be in our own lane. Uh, you might be in the wrong community, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles. Reverse. King of Pentacles. Reverse. Lots of kings and queens. Reverse. You may also have a lot of people like coming up against you. <sighs> For I think. Or trying to like take this wish fulfillment from you. Why? Because you could um, help to communicate something. Archangel Michael is protecting this reading. We have the Ace of Swords and we called on him at the beginning of the reading. You may be able to um, communicate something regarding emotional intelligence that would help to undo the blockages of the Queen of Pentacles and Three of Cups um, archetypal energies in your microclimate or your community, which could then spread. And people who want to control for their own benefit don't like that idea, right? Um, the Three of Cups upright to me is like a coven. So we talked about witch burning at th in this reading. Um, and then the Queen of Pentacles upright is somebody who finds nurturance not just through money or materialism, but through like the support of the earth and her community and also... Um, her body as like a conduit for spiritual energy because she's a queen right so this recovery card the four of swords here to heal the heartbreak and disillusionment is not just for you in this five of cups energy it's also for the people around you struggling with like materialism or like their own shallowness or whatever which is rooted in pain right it's not it's not usually rooted in like just some random compulsion to you know accumulate things or like be around friends who don't care about us or who we don't care about it's like it's from pain and you like understand maybe the root of this somehow and can help people and can communicate this truth like in a big way i want to get some advice for you advice for scorpios um regarding this like community thing the moon reversed are you kidding me what are the chances of that you got the moon three times on the full moon um, Anubis guards the gateways of the dead, and the scarab beetle turns the dung into, um, like the seeds of new light. And then this space here talks about the birth canal, um, birthing new life. There's definitely something here, Scorpio, about you turning, like, the waste into new life somehow um there's something here about the process of transmutation about you birthing something new um what's past what's beyond what's in the unconscious like bringing it to the surface somehow um also with the king and queen of cups reversed i'm seeing like something surfacing um, advice. Ace of discs reversed. <sighs> Why? Ace of pentacles has come out in your reading so, so many times. Nine of swords reversed. Gemini, Mars and Gemini. Wheel of Fortune twice also. 10, 10, 10. 
closing out cycles, closing out destined cycles, destiny, destiny, destiny. Chariot reverse and change reverse, the universe. So I think this is about you learning to not worry about inciting change in your life for new beginnings anymore. Um, not trying to rush the process, trusting the divine process, like the divine, what was the word coming through there? Like a map? Pattern? The divine pattern. Oh, wow. It's like you've used this perception that you have to like thread the needle of like some core of the unfolding divine pattern and you don't have to force it. Like you're on your path of destiny already. You don't have to worry. Um, again, the beaver builds intuitively, right? It doesn't think about how to do it. So your star reverse could just be in your page of cups reverse with the capybara the friendliest of all animals could just be that like by nature you're sort of really friendly um and you just haven't integrated yet into your community but you haven't also seen yet what you're doing for your community because you're doing it already and you're probably overthinking it at this point um or you've learned to not overthink it anymore that's your advice don't overthink it um, overthinking it is basically undoing, like, your perception of, like, receiving the gifts that have come to you through this process. Don't overthink it. Give, um, as well. The Ace of Discs reverse can mean to give, right? Give what you have. Um, oh, this is also learning to show up imperfectly. Give what you have. Don't overthink it. Change reverse. The chariot. Reverse. This is... You don't need to change anything about yourself. You don't need to rush forward or find any more balance. There's nothing you're missing. Like, you have what you need. It's just you. Just give. Give and show up however you're going to show up. People may be cruel. They might. Yeah. But they might not be your people. And so that's part of you learning to set boundaries as well here um, in order to fulfill your path of destiny. The hanged man. Maybe a major epiphany. The hanged man twice. Um, Odin hung for nine days on the tree of life, I think. The tree of life. May have been another tree. Um, anyway, he had a stab wound and he was bleeding out and um, almost died. And then just as he was about to like lose it, um, the runes were given to him. He like accumulated the knowledge of the runes. So this is you like, yeah, accumulating like some sort of esoteric or divine knowledge like through first-hand experience and also realizing like you don't ever need to do that again the sun twice okay um yeah proceed with childlike enthusiasm um you don't ever need to do that again <laughs> and i think that the people who have tried to control you or have been trying to control you if you're like a believer in interdimensional consciousness and like like the like agents of the matrix kind of deal this could even be like spirit operating through others in the 3d who are unconscious right to like not spirit but like spirits you know like operating through people in the 3d who are unconscious to prevent you from like ascending reading I just want to say, like, reading any spiritual text, especially the Bible, um, and through the lens of, like, spirits inhabiting bodies as agents of the Matrix is a trip, and I highly recommend it. It's just a really interesting lens. Um, 
And it's a little bit mind blowing, I have to say, as well as just like the idea of what you ingest is coming through again once more with that, like what you ingest can have a spirit, right? So like if you use, um, I'm thinking of the four swords that was back here. If you use something like anything like caffeine, sugar, um, coffee, um, is caffeine, sorry, sugar, um, like tobacco, marijuana, alcohol, anything like that, that are like intoxicants. Um, there's like a spirit of those things that can inhabit you from some traditional perspectives, right? And so this also could be like you having gone through like a sober journey and finding the truth of yourself and sober from anything, whatever your intoxicant is. It doesn't have to be like a food item, you know, it could just be like a habit or behavior. I think it's really interesting that this threading the eye of the needle card, the universe, is on either side of the wheel of fortune and the sun. There's the layout and the synchronicity in this reading just are really blowing my mind. Um, I don't feel like it has given any like specifics. It was really broad and like vague and kind of heavy um, with the message. But yeah, oh wow, and it's an hour long. So if this resonated for you in some way, shape or form, please um, let me know in the comments. This was awesome. Um, thank you for being here. I really appreciate all, uh, bleh, appreciate you all, Scorpios. Um, and this was your weekend reading, so I hope you have a good weekend. Bye. <laughs>